All right, this is first grade, module two, lesson 12. And in this lesson, we're gonna be using word problems as the context for introducing to students how we subtract um, numbers like 14 minus six. So the idea would be, of course, ultimately, we just want students to know, oh, 14 minus six, the answer is eight, duh, right? That's the ultimate goal. But we're gonna teach some strategies along the way in order to get there. In this lesson, we're gonna be separating that 14 into a 10 and a four, and that allows us to now subtract the six from the 10. The result being four, added to the other four gives us eight. Now this is not the goal, this is not the end point, this is merely one strategy along the line as we guide our students towards that standard algorithm. So let's get started. So it says there were 15 squirrels by a tree, 10 of them were eating nuts, five squirrels were playing, a loud noise scared away nine of the squirrels eating nuts, how many squirrels were left by the tree? And so the idea is, for parents and teachers, this is going to be unique from, very different from the way we grew up learning mathematics. What we're going to do is we're going to set up this problem using this number bond here. So it says there were 15 squirrels by a tree. And the idea is they're constructing this word problem so that it encourages us to set up 10 and 5 right here. And so 10 and 5 equals 15. So this is classic part, part, total, or part, part, whole. Um, but that's what the idea of the number bond. Now it says a loud noise scared nine of the squirrels, um, scared away nine of the squirrels. So obviously you can't start with a 5 and take away 9. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with a 10 and take away 9. Now in Eureka, they just have our students draw 10 little circles right here, all in a row. To me, that kind of undermines the 10 frame that we've been asking our students to do. So I would recommend having 10 frames ready so that the students can build, uh, draw their 10 frames. And so now that we've got it, and we're going to say, okay, so here's our 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. It also helps uh, ensure that students lay out 10. If you don't give them a 10 frame and they just lay out 10 dots, it's very likely that our first graders are going to miscount and put only 9 or put 11 of them. A 10 frame kind of forces them into accurate counting. And then, of course, we want 5 down here. So there's our... 10 frame. Now it says a loud noise scared away nine of the squirrels. All right, so right here means we have to cross off nine of them. So we're going to do, okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And so the question is, how many squirrels were left by the tree? Well, we've got these five plus that one. And so the answer is six. Ultimately, parents and teachers, what we're going to be seeing is we're going to see something like this, and then we're going to see, okay, something along the lines of, hmm, 10 minus 9 equals 1, and then 5 plus, oops, equals, and then 5 plus 1 is 6. Something along those lines. The notation will be different. But what we want students to see is without the concept of borrowing or regrouping, that that 9 is going to be subtracted from the 10, not the five. Just more practice. So it says there are 17 ladybugs in the plant. Ten of them are on a leaf, and seven, seven of them are on the stem. Nine of the ladybugs on the leaf crawled away. So the idea is we're going to have ten up here. So this is my simulated 10 frame, and then we're going to have 7 down here. And because we're subtracting 9, we can't subtract the 9 from the 7. Instead, we're going to subtract the 9 from the 10, and that's going to leave 1. So we're going to subtract those 4 plus these, I mean those 5 plus this 4, leaving us with these 7 
down here, and this one left over up here. So we have eight ladybugs on the plant. And if you want, you really could say 17 minus 9 and allow them to write 8. Now, parents and teachers, notice we're not just starting with 17 and then counting backwards 9. We're really trying to show a system, a strategy, to allow our students to get the answer in a way that is a bit more efficient than just going backwards 9, or and more meaningful than just memorizing your subtraction facts. We want to make sense uh, for our students. And that wraps up first grade module two, lesson 12, where we're using word problems. And in that case, all of our questions involved subtracting nine from ultimately what is decomposed. And so we're going to be subtracting, or we were, subtracting from the 10.